Hi, it's Sue here from the Unicorn Advisory, your trusted Kajabi expert with a Kajabi quick tip for you. Now, one of the most common questions that I get as a Kajabi expert is, should I use the Kajabi website pages or should I use the Kajabi landing pages or do I need to do both? And what even is the difference between the different pages? And I do agree it can be a little bit confusing. So in this video, I'm going to go through Kajabi website and Kajabi landing pages so you'll know exactly what is what and in what situation you should use each of the pages. Now, the Kajabi website is a really great place to start if you are brand new to Kajabi and brand new to making your own website because it does make it a little bit easier. So when we go into the website area, you will see some options and uh, some of these options are going to be the same across every page in the website area, which is your header, um, which is this top part of the page, uh, your footer, which is this bottom part of the page down here, and also the pop-ups that will appear on the page, the exit pop-up and the two-step opt-in pop-up. Now, these things, if you make a change, it will happen to every single page in your website area. So all of the pages that you have under your website, if you change something in the footer, so if you make a change to these social media icons, um, or if you make a change to the top area, if you add an announcement bar, for example, um, this hello bar into your header area, the menu on your website pages, the logo on your website pages, the way that is set up, like whether you have it um, done like this with a transparent background or with a colored background, all of those things, every time you change it, are going to change across all of the pages. So that is each of the pages that is listed under this website area. Now, for some of you, that could be a great thing. You might not want to have to faff around with making changes on different pages, but sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating because you might not want things to be the same across every page. It's also the same if you do changes in your settings. If you add, for example, example, um, specific colors to use for your buttons, um, your fonts down here. So all of these things, when you make the changes to these are going to apply across your entire website. So yeah, that can be helpful sometimes, but sometimes you want to have that granular level of customizability. So one of the ways that I like to explain um, the website with a little bit of an analogy is imagine that the website itself in a whole is like a country and the pages within the website states. So there will be some rules that apply across the entire country, um, but the states like the individual pages could have different design elements on them and they could be different, but there are going to be things that are going to be the same across every page. Um, so, you know, those federal rules versus like local and state. So the header is going to be the same on every page. And like I mentioned before, the footer is going to be on the same on every page. And if you want to use this exit pop-up so that you get those pop-ups to get people on your email list and things like that, it will just be the one pop-up across your entire site. However, landing pages, all the design, everything in the page is exactly the same. You design them the same way, the blocks, the sections, everything design-wise is the same. However, with your landing pages, they're completely independent of each other. So landing pages are like uh, a country that is an island, like it is its own country. There are just the rules apply just for that one thing, as opposed to your website shares some rules and then each page inside has its independent ones. The actual landing page, nothing you do on a landing page will be replicated on any other landing page. Now that can be helpful because you might have some pages that you don't want to have, you know, a header area and a menu on because maybe they're an opt-in page or a sales page. So you want to get rid of distractions like a header. Maybe you want to use different fonts or colors. Maybe you want to have different menus on different pages, or maybe you want to have different opt-ins, different exits and two-step opt-in pop-ups on those pages. Now, if you do, in that case, you will need to make your website using landing pages instead of using the website. So you can create a home page using the website's home page, or you can create a home page as a landing page. Um, you can do either or it's your own personal preference. There are some pages that you have to use as website pages, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but pretty much everything else can be created using landing pages for our own website. And wherever we are creating websites for other people, we always use landing pages to create the websites. So if you have a template pack from the Unicorn Advice, you'll have the option um, if you get our absolute pack you'll get both the website and the landing page versions of a lot of the pages so that you can have both and you can choose the one that suits you best um, so there is no right and wrong but the main things are that those changes will appear on every page whereas landing pages 
the changes will only be on that page. There's one other difference as well is with some of the SEO settings. When you have a landing page, you have full control over all of the SEO settings, the title and the description. Um, whereas on the website pages, you will only have on some pages, you'll only have the description and on other pages, you won't have anything at all. Um, so it will use the website's SEO as an entire thing for, that, um, for those pages. So if you are creating pages that you want to have really strong SEO on, I would recommend that you use landing pages for those. Um, so that's in this area here. Also, some of the website pages, as I'll show you in a sec, you can't actually change the URL. Um, they are set and fixed. Um, so if you want to be able to change the URL and not make it say whatever Kajabi is saying by default, in that case as well, you'll need to use a landing page. Now we're going to come back into our website pages. And I'm going to show you which pages you have to use because there isn't an option to do that as a landing page. Some of the pages um, in Kajabi, such as this library page, are pulling information from other areas of Kajabi and there isn't a way to recreate that. So there are some website pages that you will have to use um, so that your members will be able to see and access their products, even if you're not using the Kajabi website at all. Those pages are these system pages, such as the library page. This is where your students will log in and see uh, what courses they have available to them. Your 404 page, this is a page that will come up if there is ever a link that is broken on your site and someone will end up on this page if that doesn't work. It's kind of like the, the catch-all page for anything that doesn't work. And you can design this page and do what you want on there. So that is um, helpful to know that you might want to go and update that your login page. This is the page when someone actually goes to log into their course area. So again, a system page, you can't make an alternate version of that. So you'll need to put a website template on here for this login, the 404 and the library, and then customize and make that your own um, design or use a template if you've got that option. The other pages that are system pages that are optional, you may or may not want them. These announcements, this is related to your course products and the member directory also related to your course products. Both of those are optional pages, but they do not have an equivalent landing page. Again, because it's pulling information from um, different places in Kajabi together. Um, so those pages, you will want to style them if you are going to use them. Now, the other pages within Kajabi um, is your blog. Now, your actual blog, you have your blog like homepage, the homepage for the blog. You also have the blog post, which is the design for how your posts are going to show up. Now you could make your blog as landing pages and you could just put your blog posts in this area here and then um, use a landing page to direct to them. But you may find it easier just to style and design this blog post um, and this blog section under your website. And then you'll have um, you know, more control over what that looks like. Um, so those ones are possible to use a landing page, but generally I recommend to use actual, just to use the blog functionality if you are going to use um, a blog on your Kajabi site. Again, that is optional. So it's only if you are going to use that. So these system pages here, generally speaking, anything that's got this blue system, you're not going to be able to create a landing page version, except two exceptions. The store page. The store page is an automatic page that Kajabi will make for you that will show your offers all in one place. Personally, I don't love to use it and I actually create a landing page for my store page. Um, but if you do wanna do something really quickly just to get something up, you can use this offer storefront area and connect any of your different offers. Um, so we'll connect this one here. I think it's gonna show up and it's going to then just pull some information. It will be clickable and go through to that offer. Um, and you can also have that will only show up if it's not currently owned by someone. So that can be a helpful way to sort of quickly pull together all of your offers in one place. But I personally prefer to do this as a landing page and kind of ignore this store page. The other option um, is the home page. Again, this will show as a system home page, but personally, I prefer to make my home page as a landing page. If you've already made it, you know, keep it um, in the website area. It's not going to hurt unless, of course, you want 
to have that ability to customize the menu, change that uh, hello bar or announcement bar on the page, or you want to customize the header, footer, um, exit pop-up, et cetera, and make that different to um, perhaps your blog, for example. So if you haven't yet done the homepage, um, it can be helpful to do your homepage as a landing page. It's gonna be no different with how you actually build it. The actual build will be the same. It will just be that as it is a homepage, um, when we come in here and I show you the SEO, you'll see that there isn't really any SEO um, in here because the site details for your overall website is where that is going to be pulled from. And sometimes you wanna have that to be able to be customized to exactly what you want it to be. So yeah, so the homepage under your website is one that you don't have to use, even though it says system. I'll just do a quick recap. So library, have to use, customize it. Homepage, I personally use landing pages. The blog post, um, I always uh, tend to use the blog post in the website area. This thank you page, I haven't gone into this one. Um, I don't personally use it, but if you do use the easy thank yous on your checkouts where you go to a thank you page, you might want to style this, but personally I make a landing page for every like thank you page or confirmation when someone signs up for something. 404, that is a website page you'll need to use. Login, that is a website page that you'll need to use. System, you don't have to use this page. You can if you want, but you can create a landing page. Uh, blog search can only be done within website. Announcements and member directory also can only be done within website. Contact page, personally, I make a landing page for the contact page. Blog is also something that I will use within the website, but you could make a landing page if you really wanted to. And just ignore this page page, um, as that is a page that shows up in older Kajabi accounts like mine. I hope this was helpful. If you have got any questions about pages, website pages or landing pages, please do comment below and consider subscribing if you have not already. And I would really appreciate it if you found this helpful, if you would like this post. See you in the next video.